Hey friends, Coach Jordan here, coming to you for Friday, 424. Yep, just double check the date. 424 Rev. We have 10 for 10. Okay. Kind of like you're strolling through High V Sunday morning and they have their super awesome bratwurst deal where you buy 10 of their brats for $10. It's a great deal. Okay. Um, so our movements today, <laughs> if you don't like bratwurst, I'm sorry. Um, but they usually have like good deals on chicken breasts too, stuff like that. 10 for 10, 10 push-ups, 10 renegade rows, 10 snatches, 10 hang power cleans, and 10 hollow hold to Superman. Uh, this is technically a movement. Maybe you've done it before. It might be new. Uh, I'm going to see how well I can do it in my space here, um, and we'll try it all together. It's great. All right, so write this down if you need to write it down or following along. I don't have fancy uh, video editing software, unfortunately, so... 10 push-ups, 10 renegade rows total, 10 dumbbell kettlebell snatches. If you have a uh, slam ball here, I'm going to talk about variations for you. 10 hang power cleans, and then 10 hollow hold to Superman. These are a roll or a core movement. Uh, it's going to be great. Okay, and this is 10 total rounds. Okay, so you're essentially going to be doing 100 of all of this. Top to bottom is a round. You're going to go through this 10 total rounds times okay um i may actually now that i think about it I, I, i've been thinking about it before um i'd like you to cap this one uh at about 25 minutes okay so if you have a clock nearby if you hit 25 minutes and you've not completed your 10 rounds uh, i would like you to stop if you're close or you're working on your last round go ahead and finish but if you're like round eight or less uh go ahead and call it quits uh you're still going to get a good great workout in uh, in 25 minutes. Okay, some of these movements are going to go pretty fast. Some of these are going to be pretty easy. A couple of them here are really going to test you. All right, so let's talk about them. Get back up here. Make sure I got my sweet spot. Yep, okay. Um, for the strength portion today, I want to apologize. I thought about it after I shot the video. I didn't really give you a variation. If you had a slam ball for the Arnold's press, um, what I would like you to do, if you have a slam ball uh, and you've miraculously somehow watched this video first or made it here, uh, you could do a shoulder to shoulder press or an overhead. So you would start here, dip. And I almost lost the light. Look at that, yay me, I caught a light bulb. It didn't break or I'm sure I would be sleeping in the doghouse tonight. Okay, we'll keep that a secret. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> wow. Let me recollect here. Okay, strength portion for you uh, wall ball or slam ballers. Start on one shoulder, dip, drive, and rotate overhead. And you could do that 16 total times. Okay, that would be great. I cannot believe I just did that without breaking anything. So, here we go. Um, workout today, 10 for 10, 10 rounds. Uh, we have five total movements, okay? 10 push-ups, 10 renegade rows, 10 snatches, 10 hang power cleans, and 10 hollow hold to Superman rolls. Everything here is for 10 total reps, okay? So there's nothing like 10 on each side, okay? This is shorter rep scheme stuff, uh, but it's gonna get hard. Uh, rounds one through four, five, maybe six will feel good. Seven to 10 uh, is gonna get pretty tough, okay? so. 10 push-ups, we're all familiar with those. What I'm after is a good variation that you can maybe do the first couple rounds unbroken for. Okay, why are we doing this workout? What is, why is this gonna be, allow us to be more fit? Uh, there's a new movement in here that maybe you've never done in a workout, maybe you've done a warm-up. Uh, so that's really gonna test our core stability when we're really fatigued, okay? Um, it's gonna be awesome. Summer's right around the corner. Time to, time to emphasize our fitness, okay? Uh, 10 push-ups. Uh, again, I'll demo these really quick. I know we're all super good at push-ups by now. I've been doing lots of them. Um, what I'm after, strict push-ups if you can. I've been doing so many push-ups with my push-up program lately. I feel like I'm getting pretty good. Okay. Rigid position. Full range of motion all the way to the floor, all the way back up. Okay. 10 renegade rows. This is 10 total reps. All right. If you have a slam ball, your workout's gonna be slightly different. That's okay, it's still gonna be great, all right? 
So if I have my dumbbell here, renegade row, let me get myself up into a high plank position. So my hips are up and I'm going to spread my feet so that I can prevent myself from rotating my torso like so. If I have narrow feet, it's really easy to do that. Okay, so I have wide feet. Run, two, three, four, five. And then I'll switch to my opposite side and do five rows on that side. I'm trying to avoid that you know lawnmower or chainsaw opening up the shoulder and the chest that we see. I want you to stay nice and rigid and let that elbow go towards the ceiling and nothing else, okay? Um, dumbbells and kettlebells, that makes sense. If you're using a kettlebell, try not to come down with force, right? Because then the kettlebell might roll side to side. You can float or turn your body weight a little bit if you need to. Otherwise, if you can stay square over that kettlebell and feel confident with it, that's fine, okay? Um, but don't be afraid to shift your body weight a little bit so you're not resting any weight on that kettlebell when you're at the bottom, okay? <clears throat> For you slam ballers, we're gonna do um, 10 total shoulder taps instead of the row, but you're gonna balance on the ball. So that'll look like this. If I have my slam ball here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, oop, five, and then I'll switch to the opposite side. Same thing, trying to keep my shoulders square. One, or excuse me, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's my 10, and I'll move on, all right? Next movement is the snatch. I still can't believe I didn't break that. Ugh, dead spider, gross. Snatches. <clears throat> if you have a slam ball, you're gonna go with slam balls today, okay? From the floor to overhead safely, and then slam the ball through the floor. For those that set up dumbbells or kettlebells, we're gonna be doing snatches today. From the floor, center of my feet, back is flat, jump and press to overhead, shoulder stays next to bicep, okay? Straight up, just like you're trying to punch a hole in the ceiling or knock a light off of your light fixture. Kettlebells. If you're comfortable with cuddle ball snatches, great. If not, today's not a bad day to work on some. Um, it's a smaller repetition scheme at a time, but there's a lot of reps through this workout. So play it by ear. If the back of your wrist is getting a little tender, you probably can adjust something about your form. I've talked about kettlebell snatches before. If you're confident with them, great, get after it. If you're so-so, today's a good day uh, to try to get better at them. Um, if not, um, these could totally be just shoulder to overhead because we have some hang power cleans coming up, okay? So if you have a kettlebell and you're not confident with your snatches, you could just bring that to the front rack and just dip and drive five times each side for push presses, okay? 10 hang power cleans for our next movement. If you have a slam ball, instead of going overhead for a snatch movement, here you're just gonna go to your shoulder. So here I want you to actually jump and catch. So you're gonna get your butt down nice and low. One, throw it down to the floor. Two, back down to the floor, okay? So just 10 total cleans to the shoulder. Kettlebellers, hip crease to your shoulder, hip crease to your shoulder, hip crease to your shoulder. Okay, think of it like a kettlebell swing that comes up to your shoulder and then resetting with another kettlebell swing. Five on your right, five on your left. Dumbbellers, should be pretty good at this movement. Deadlift at your hip, because the movement starts at the hip with a hang power clean. Shoulders down, chest towards the floor, loading up our legs, jump and catch. There's one, there's two, there's three. If it's a little bit heavier and you need to jump, there's four, there's five. Five on each side for a total of 10, okay? Last movement. You need to make sure you have a little bit of space for this one. So I gotta move some stuff around. Nothing off the ceiling, hopefully. Da -da. Okay, make sure my camera angle is good. All right, try this out, folks. This is a dynamic or moving exercise, depending on the amount of space that you have. You can really do it however you want. Just, it's from one position to the next. And I don't want you to just kind of flip flop back and forth. Change direction if you can. I mean, you'll know what I mean in a second. So. Starts with a hollow hold, then it goes to a Superman. A Superman is a reverse hollow hold. Okay, so essentially 
instead of me just laying on the floor like this, I'm gonna extend my hands up over my head. I'm gonna point my toes. I'm gonna engage my lower back to lift my extremities off the floor, okay? And this movement is going from that into a hollow hold. So again, you may have done this in a warm-up. We're doing it in a workout now. So let me roll through two repetitions so you can see what they look like, all right? So I'm gonna start in this position. I'm gonna engage my lower back. And just make sure I'm not gonna run into anything with me. Okay, we should be good now. Here we go. Always engaging, always holding that position, using my body, my momentum, anything I can to roll over and hold and back over. Okay, that was two. So I transitioned from that Superman position into my hollow hold, right? Shoulders are off the floor, engaging my core and rolling back. That one, for some of us who are really, really good at stuff like that, could be great. This might be something that you're just like, oh my gosh, my body doesn't translate. I can't roll over that well. That's okay. What I need you to turn that into is a 30 second hold of each position, okay? Superman can get really, really tough to hold for 30 total seconds. So break that up into 10 or 15 second chunks, okay? So it could look something like this. And accumulate your time in a fashion that's good for you. Okay, same with the hollow hold. Hold that position as long as you can. You can make it a little bit easier by holding up one leg and getting your 30 seconds that way. Okay, I am dripping sweat, folks, mostly from me almost wrecking something, but I didn't, so we're good. Um, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, have a great, great Friday, a great weekend. I hope to see you at Happy Hour Friday or um, Trivia Friday evening. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend, folks. Happy Draft Day.